Today on Newsbreak, Jake and Boss will tell us about the fall and weather ahead, and we will have a look at your national news breakdown. All this and more on this Thursday, October 1st, 2015. Good afternoon, SHS. I'm Jacob Voss. I'm Tanner Ellison. Let's take a look at your top stories for today. Our team will have a brand new infield for next season. Crews have begun digging out the old dirt on the softball field diamond. The team raised money this summer to purchase a new surface for the field. Everything will be ready for by next season. La James International College will be represented in the Commons on Friday at 10 a.m. Northeast Community College Applied Technology Career Day will be held on Friday on October 2nd. Group College Visit Day to University of Iowa and Kirkwood Community College on October 26th for students in grades 9th through 12th grade. Talk with Mrs. Nelson if interested. Now let's take a look at your national news breakdown for today. First, some serious news from Harrisburg, South Dakota, where a high school was on lockdown yesterday after a male student shot the principal in the arm after an altercation. The athletic director and assistant principal tackled the student and held him until authorities arrived. The government will stay afloat at least until December 11th after a last second bill passed through the House yesterday afternoon. Many Republicans were angry because they wanted to take out the funding Planned Parenthood without that plan. No charges for Caitlyn Jenner. Authorities declined the charges against the star yesterday. Authorities said Jenner was towing an off-road vehicle on a trailer behind a Cadillac Escalade on February 7th when she crashed into two cars, pushing one into oncoming traffic. Driver Kim Howe was killed when her Lexus was hit by a Hummer. Caitlyn still faces several civil lawsuits. Hurricane Jokin is spin spinning in the Atlantic, the East Coast, prepares for the storm. The track of the Category 3 storm is still up in the air, but the East Coast will be receiving very heavy rain either way. Finally, a runaway monkey named Zeke was caught in Florida yesterday. Officials say the monkey was running around on the streets before being distracted by a water bottle when authorities captured him and then returned him to his owner. And that is a look at your national news breakdown. And now we bring our very own weatherman, Jake Blossom, with us today. How are you doing today? Good. How are you guys? I'm pretty good. Nice weather out there. It was really cold. Really cold? Well, we're starting to get to the fall weather, so it's going to be a little cooler out there. But uh, I love it. But no rain this week, so it's been really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little bit nice. So let's yeah. go check. Should we go check out the forecast and see what's going on? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go take a look at what's going on out there. Yeah. New series, Sky Cam HD, out there first today. Another sunny day out there. The weather has been excellent this week, just cooling down the temperatures just a little bit throughout the week. 62 degrees this afternoon at 4 o'clock, 59 there at 6 o'clock. So we're continuing to cool down, feeling like 56 there at 6 o'clock, and we continue that cool down throughout the rest of the week. High 63 degrees today, a low 41 tonight. So another cool night out there. East winds, which is a little unusual, continuing tonight, 5 to 10 miles an hour. As we go into the seven day forecast, you see we're cooling down from the weekend, 56 there with a lot of clouds on Sunday. And as we move into next week, you see those rain chances increasing there on Tuesday and Wednesday, but continuing with those 60s and 50s for highs, so a lot more fall like out there. Let's send it over to Tyler Jones. All right, I'm here with Bailey Newman. I'm going to ask her a few questions about volleyball. So you guys have, a, uh, have had a great season so far. Uh, what do you think the key to your guys' success so far this season has been? Um, well, our coach, uh, Deal Schneider, he always has something new for us in practice and something else to focus on. And we always learn from our past games and our past mistakes and just keep getting better every day. Okay. Uh, you guys hosted your uh, home tournament a couple weeks ago and won that tournament going 6-0. and How did that feel? That felt good because uh, last year we ended up losing a game but still got first, so this year it was good to just get a clean sweep mm -hmm. and it was, it was a proud moment for us. The team struggled last Thursday with Western Christian, falling 3-0. to zero. Uh, Was that just a tough night for you guys or was Western just on to that night? We struggled to get in system and the whole time they were in system, so um, we just, I just don't think we were really um, in the game at that time. and. It was, it's kind of hard to be in that environment at the same time, but those are things yeah. you have to overcome to win games like that. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, regional postseason volleyball pairings came out today. Has the team started to look ahead to the postseason? We have, and that why it was, it was important for us to still stay higher in the rankings so that we could um, get maybe like an easier day before. And But no matter what, we're always going to play for each other and um, just do our best. All right. Thank you for joining us today. We'll send it over to Tyler and Tanner. You know, Tanner, I was thinking we could switch things up. You want to sign off today? No. 
Alright, awesome. Thank you for watching this break. Have a